Hello and welcome to Borders Rugby Roundup. We're here at Poinder Park for traditionally the start of the Borders Rugby season. It's the Build Centre Kelso Sevens, round one in the Radio Borders Kings of the Sevens tournament. Well, later on in the programme, we're having a look at all our Premiership and National League sides to see how they're shaping up for the coming season. But let's begin with the Kelso Sevens and round one. In the first round, there were wins for Watsonians, Jed Forest, Stumel, Kelso, Selkirk, Melrose, the President Select and Hoyk. And so to the first quarter final between Jed Forrest and Watsonians, this try from Grant Somerville helped Sonians to a convincing 40 points to 5 win. Kelso overcame Stumel 36-5, scoring six tries in the process, including these two from Gary Mulroy and Nathan Trotter. In the other half of the draw, Selkirk booked their place in the semi-final with a win over Melrose by 22 points to 5. Here's Fraser Hartness with one of the suitors' four tries. Hoyk were too strong for the President Select team in the other quarter-final match, winning 36-7, with Stephen Anderson scoring two tries in the process, including this one. So the two semi-finals were between favourites, Watsonians, and hosts, Kelso, and Selkirk against Hoyk. Remember the Radio Borders Kings of the Seven series over ten rounds gives ten points for the winner, seven for the runner-up, five for the beaten semi-finalists, and three each for the teams making the quarter-finals. And so to the first of the two ties, and Kelso shocked Watsonians by taking a quick 14-0 lead thanks to tries by Greg Minto and Sean Common. The Edinburgh side came back, but further tries from Ewan Ford and another by Greg Minto proved decisive and Kelso went through 26-12. So who'd be joining them? Well, it was a close encounter between holders Selkirk and Hoyk. They were locked at 14 points each before Selkirk ran in tries from Eddie Gaucher and Mike McVie to wrap it up 26-14. That meant the final would be between Kelso and Selkirk. Here's the highlights with commentary from Radio Borders' Stuart McCulloch. Johns in on the ball, feeds it back into Gav Craig. Gavin Craig trying to break the tackle, he doesn't. Gavin Craig's away now for Selkirk. Ten minutes inside the Kelso half. He's got support from Darlin. Neil Darlin, the Selkirk skipper. He's going all the way into the left hand corner and it's first blood to the current king to the seventh Selkirk. It's Selkirk five, it's Kelso nil. And here comes Fraser Hartness. Hartness as Darlin Gillespie and Greg Minto's chasing back there for Kelso. Oh, and Fraser Hartness gets a bounce of the ball, picks up and touches down. It's Selkirk 10, it's Kelso nil, and when it's going for you, John, he's looking to offload, right into the middle, picked up by Ewan Ford, Ford stops, he slips, gets the ball back, picked up by Common, oh, and Common oh, finds a gap, and Common's going to go through the middle, and Kelso back in this final. Ian Moody picks it up, he tries to offload, oh, and through the legs from Ewan Ford, out to Hartley, it's taken on by Gillespie, Gillespie straightens up, and he's oh, in, then. and Darren Gillespie is going to put Kelso in front in this final. It's pile in there to get the ball out wide, can be try time and it's going to be Neil Darling going in for the try, does he touch down, yes he does and Selkirk go back in front, it comes out then to Common. Common having to go in alone and Sean Commons away, Sean Commons oh, going oh. into the left hand corner, no he has to cut back in he's got nobody in support, he kicks across and Hartley will he oh, yes. yes he will, what a kick across and Hartley dives over and it's Kelso back in front, it's now Kelso 19, Selkirk 15, it's like a battlefield out there. Yeah, no, you've got Gillespie down, you've got, I think it's Mintos down, you've got one of the Selkirk players down. Yeah. What a final. Sean Common with the conversion. Four minutes to go in this final as Common puts the conversion over. It is all over and Kelso kick off the Kings of the Sevens campaign by winning their own tournament, defeating Selkirk by 21 points to 15. The scenes a jubilation on the pitch. Unbelievable. We've got an easy uh, first round and we brought up into Schumel, but it was 100% in the semi final and uh, can't believe the boys like. Great effort, great effort. What a great kickstart for the season. Oh yeah, I'll send us off. We uh, got a friendly against Selkirk on Tuesday and uh, carry on from there. And you got Selkirk in the Selkirk Sevens yeah, as well, you'll yeah. be sick of them. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's been a good clash with them last season, today, brilliant, great effort. Oh, that's my first Sevens, I think it was just awesome, I don't know how to explain how I feel right now, I'm sure after a couple I'll, I'll know exactly how I feel.
Welcome back to Borders Rugby Roundup. Let's put the spotlight now on the Scottish Hydroelectric League season. Beginning with Premier One, we have Melrose, Hoyk and newly promoted Selkirk in there. Let's find out the views from all three camps. You know, we've had to rely mainly on homegrown talent and we will do again this season. Um, and we'll try and play our fast game and hopefully the new laws will help us as well because um, you know, we adapted to them very well when we played in the Super Cup a couple of seasons ago. You know, having a strength and depth of squad and we have a good strength and depth of squad I went that last year but we weren't taking our chances you know these teams didn't beat us we lost these games we lost them badly but not taking our chances and you know giving away some tough points so this year we, you know, we're working hard and as I say we're moving a little bit behind where we were last year as far as, as the start of the season is concerned but you know come come the 30th of, of, uh, of August we'll be ready for, for air. We've got, we've got a massive challenge in front of us again this season but uh, it's one I was looking forward to. You can't not get easy, but uh, we'll give our best shot again starting today. The sevens here, and uh, the sevens next week, and we're straight into it, carry it home. And it's a game we're really looking forward to. Can't can't wait for it to come. To be honest, we it's going to be good. Many people thinking that Premier 2 is going to be the most exciting of the leagues this season. Four Borders teams involved. We've got Kelso, Jed Forrest and newly promoted Gala and Peebles as well. So lots of local derbies there. Here's the thoughts first of all of Richie Gray from Gala. Gala have lost a number of key players as well over the summer, seven in total. But there's some good youngsters at the club with a good squad of about 25 players plus and we're really looking forward to the challenge in Premier 2. Obviously, Premier 2 is full of sides that are all desperate to get out of there, so it's going to be a real dogfight this year, but also a great place to gauge how we've come on in the last season. Yeah, it's a big season. We got promoted last, uh, last year into Division 2, but we've been previously, uh, but I think we can hold our own. The most important thing going into this season is we've managed to keep hold of almost all our players. We've only lost one, I think, uh, which has been a problem for us in the past, but hopefully with that squad mainly together, uh, we can do well in Division 2. People have to play for plushies, and that's what we're looking for. We want boys to hand their hand up and say, "Look, I want to play in the first. I don't want to be a, a sort of odd second team player and sit in the bench the first. I want to play in the first. And real, if they're performing for us at training, performing the games, well, that's all we can ask for. What I like to say is we'll get the season off with a bang. We we'll start well, then when you get to Christmas, if you're in there with a shout, then you can have a go for it. But I think this year, all the years I've been coaching, I think Prem Two is the hardest league in the Premiership. So it all kicks off in the Scottish Hydroelectric Premiership and National Leagues on August the 30th. Next week we're at Selkirk for the Halborough Selkirk Sevens. Join us then.